Hey, it's Dan Nickerson, and I just made this little demo site. And basically, it's a niche blog demo using the speaker theme. You can create the same look and Socrates theme as well. But I took about 10 minutes just to make this site. Basically, it's an about page, a blog page. There's a contact page. You can see contact us. There's a blog. I didn't change the title in there for that purposes. There's the about page. You can see it has little phone number icons and also an email icon that's up here. It's got different mobile uh, sites. But anyhow, I just wanted to make this little niche blog demo to show you how quickly you can make a niche blog. Uh, you know, the difference between you know one niche and another niche is usually just graphics. So I grabbed in some business kind of related graphics in here or travel related graphics. But if you change the graphics, you can change the look and, and the niche of a site. So this is just a generic niche blog demo. And so I'm going to take you and show you exactly how I made this in a very quickly. And of course, the content where you want to edit on your own after that. All right. Hope this is helpful. OK, so here is how I made this site. I'm just going to try to do this as, quick, as quickly as I can. You can always slow down the video. But I just want to show how simple it is to make kind of a unique niche looking blog. And so I'm going to might be a little bit backwards the way I do it, but I think it'll it'll make sense in the long run. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into pages and I'm going to make a home page. And I'm just going to add in some lorem ipsum content using Socrates. I'm going to make it full width, and I'm also going to hide the title, and I'm going to click on Publish. And next, I'm going to make a, an About page. I'm going to go About, and I'm going to add in some lorem content, I'm going to make it full width, and I'm also going to hide the title like that. Uh, next, I'm going to make a blank blog page, because you kind of need that for the um, for the blog. I'm just going to leave that as it is. Next I'm going to make a contact page and I'll add in some lorem content there and I'll make it full width as well and I'm going to hide the title as well. Okay the next thing I want to do is I want to make a menu. So I'm going to go to menus and uh, create a new menu. Primary. I messed with it a little bit before I got going here. Primary and I'm going to click on Add, Blog, and, and the About page. So I'm going to make this About, um, Blog, and Contact. And I'm going to make this, assign it to the primary location. And so the next thing I'm going to do is go to Settings, Reading, Static Page, Home, the Blog page, the Post page is Blog, and click on Save. Now I'm going to open this in a new window. And you're going to see I have this niche blog demo. It's a full width page here. I have about, right? I have blog, and I have contact, right? So the blog just shows all of the recent posts, right? So I'm not, we're not going to touch this for the sake of this demo. And there's the contact. Now I'm going to go back here. Now that what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in some header mastheads for different pages. So I'm going to go to widgets. And this is one of the most underused things of Socrates and speaker theme, but it's the top banner widget. I'm going to open this up and I'm going to drag a custom HTML widget here. And next I'm going to go to my speaker theme documentation and I'm going to copy this code. Now you, ideally you're going to want to use your own images. For the sake of this I'm just going to grab this image and drop it in there. So I'm going to do this and go about, make this the about page. And next I'm going to go and call visibility show if page is about and click on save. All right. Now when I do that, I go back to the site, I open the About page, and now I have this nice little image header, and I have the About page name, and then this is the information about the site. Okay, That's basically how that works. And let's go to the Contact page. So the Contact page, uh, once again, is blank right now. I installed the Contact Form 7 plugin, which is a very popular um, contact form. This is the short, the short code for it. Once again, this doesn't come with Socrates and I or speaker theme. I don't want it to. The, pop, the plugin is super popular, and so I'd rather have it use third-party plugins. That's what they're meant for. So I'm going to go to Edit, and I'm actually going to make a two-column layout for this. So I'm going to go to Socrates, two-column layouts, and then I'm going to drop this short code into the second column. I'm going to move this text into the other column here. Once again, Socrates doesn't use page builders by default because it's better to have a much faster site and spend a little more time just making it faster. So I'm going to click on Update, and now I'll click on this, and you'll see that there's a uh, con contact form here and some information on the left. Now let's why don't we add a little masthead here as well? So I'm going to go back to Widgets. I'm going to go to the top banner. I'm going to open up a new custom HTML, 
widget right like, like there. I'm going to go and grab um, this code again. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to change. I'm going to show you how to change the image here. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to paste it in here. Now I want to go to. I'm going to open this in another window so I can work with it. This is my media library. I uploaded a few different images here. So here is a big building image. I'm going to go to the URL here and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go back to the short code and I'm just going to replace the image like that and click on save. Okay. And next, oops, sorry, I want to go to visibility, show if page is contact form, and click on save. Now I can go back to my site, click on contact, and now we have, well, I forget to change, change the uh, text. So I'll change this to say, okay, uh, change this to say um, contact us. And click on save, and now I reload, it's gonna say contact us. So there's contact us with another image. Okay, so now let's go to the home page. So there's a couple of different th things you can do with the home page. And so you can either use a custom HTML widget like I just did, or you can use the masthead feature that comes with sock comes with speaker theme, right? So if I go and edit this page, I can go and set a masthead image. So I'm gonna choose, let's choose this big stock market image here, right? I'm gonna click on that and click on use this image. Now the height of this image is 400 pixels. So if I do that and I click on update and then I go to the home page, I have this nice looking masthead image here, right? So if I wanna add code inside of here, I can then go to the use this masthead, I can do custom HTML and I can go back to the speaker theme documentation and I have all these different codes in here, right? So maybe I want to use um, this one here, right? Uh, two column call to action. I'll click on this code. Actually, no, that's the wrong one. <laughs> I gotta go above, uh, right here. Copy this code, and I'm just gonna go up here to the masthead widget, and I'm gonna drop that in there. I'm gonna click on visibility, show if page is front page. And click on save. And now when I go to the site, you're gonna see that there is the name and there is the about, the blog, the contact, and there is this is the headline, this is the subline, this is the call to action. Pretty cool, right? So you can, you'll notice that it overrides the, the style of the, uh, the top bar. So if you had a white background up here, then you'd wanna have uh, a white image so it would mesh with, work with the rest of the sites. But that's kind of it for how this works. So if I wanted to use the, the the custom the top banner widget I could also do that of course I could just go back here go back to the page edit it I could remove the custom header image right change that back to zero click on update and then I could go back to appearance and widgets and if I wanted to I could I don't need to remove this delete and then top banner I would go and grab custom HTML and then I can go to the Socrates documentation and look for a call to action widgets, right? Oh, let's just grab one here. Call to action banner widgets. Let me grab, um, this is kind of a neat one actually right here. Let's grab this parallax image. And I'm gonna go here and drop it in there. Visibility, show if page is front page and click on save. And now I'm going to go back to the front page, and there is, you know, an image. Once again, if I want to make this a different size, I can go back to widgets up here. So I want to make this minimum height 500. Save. And now reload. And I've got this big, huge image banner here. Uh, once again, this is done without page builders because I wanted to be super fast. So you take a little bit longer to set up a site, and it enables you to have a much faster website in the long run. So from a design standpoint, you know, maybe you want to have a white top um, as well. So we can go to colors, and if I want to, I could change the header background to be white. And then I go into, oops, then I scroll down here, and I would change the um, header title color to be, let's just say I want it to be blue, like that. And then I need to change the navigation colors, navigation text, here to let's just say I want to make it black and there's the text up there 
and then I can click on publish and then you have kind of a, a white top just like you know you see a lot of these mainstream uh, sites have now the next thing I want to show you is kind of a neat little feature and that is uh, the top bar let's say you want to have phone numbers or an email address in the top bar widget so I'm actually going to go back here to appearance menus and I'm going to make a new menu called top bar and I'm going to click on create new menu and then I'm going to go back to my little blog uh, sorry my forum post here where I say how to do this so this allows you to add little tiny icons to the top bar menu so this is I've got too many windows open here I'm going to go to custom links this is the link text here and then this is the click to call link. So this is going to go in here. I'm going to click add to menu. I'm going to click top bar, save menu. And now when I reload this page, you're going to see there's a little phone number with click to call right here. Pretty neat, huh? So if I want to add an email, I could go in here and copy this link. And go back to menus, custom links, paste that there. And then I'm going to go mail to and paste that there. Click that. And that's added. Click save. Reload. And there's that phone number. And let me just go and change one thing here. I'm going to change this to 2 things I want to do. First off, I don't like that big image, so I'm going to go and grab another image. Let's grab that one. And I'm going to go here to top page. I'm going to paste that one there. And I'm going to make that 400. And I'm going to say just, you know, welcome. Click on save. Now back here and visit site. Now it says welcome, right? So that's that. So one other thing I'll show you is if you want to add a footer menu down here, you can make your own footer menu, but I can go to menus and I can chain, go to back to primary menu and put footer, save, and then you have a nice little footer menu here down below, right? So that's just a really simple, quick niche, fully responsive uh, way you can set up the speaker theme or Socrates to work on the site. By the way, if you want to add, uh, obviously if you want to own a masthead here, you can do it too. If I want to go here, and let's just say that I wanted to uh, go to top banner widget. I'm going to copy this one. Copy. Drag that over. Paste. Visibility. Show if page is blog. Save. Use site. And now my blog has its own custom menu. Of course, I didn't change it to blog. All right, that's it for this demo. I just w I wanted to make it, show you how quick it, and show you how flexible it was. You don't have to use speaker theme for just a speaker. You can use it for any niche. And the big difference in the niches is that you basically are just replacing the uh, the images. By the way, I use the parallax uh, image there. Uh, I'll go back here to widgets, and I'll show you how you change this to be non-parallax zero it's going to change the size and look of the site okay so that looks a little cleaner all right so uh, that's it for this demo i hope you found it helpful once again there's links to all the documentation and tutorials all over the site so hope it was helpful